could share some of this material that was in my binder. And yeah. eventually that led me to present the information at a workshop at the following Camp Widow the next year. And everybody in that room looked at me and said, where did you get this information? You really should put all of this into a book. Yes. And again, I said, there's no way I'm doing that. You're crazy. <laughs> but eventually. But you have already done it. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, right. I mean, it was the gathering of the information. Right. I had the information, but it was, you know, putting it all into a book and also telling your story and structuring it and gathering, um, you know, snippets of stories from other people that had used certain healing tools. That was a whole other ball of wax. So, ah. um, so you yes. put together the book and it's practical tools, it's strategies for what to do, how to kind of, it's self healing or what to seek, really, a direction. Sure, sure. Direction. So it's a practical guide for navigating grief and trauma with intention, meaning intentionally you're going to choose some of these tools, start somewhere. Are you a journaler? Okay, go to chapter J, journaling. You can journal written word or you can journal pictorially, which is what a lot of people who've had trauma experiences can do first because okay. it's a right brain modality which is easier you know we can access the right side of our brain easier with trauma you know the left side is for reason logic order and nothing was logical or reasoned or ordered in my situation so that's letter j are you a meditator are you an exerciser you know there are 26 tools to cover everybody you know start somewhere is what i say start with what uh, makes sense to you or you just feel comfortable with so out of the 26, what was like the most helpful for you? What did you end up leaning on the most? And um, well, initially, right, I was already at the gym when Brent was missing. So mm. I always go to S, which is slide into exercise. I yeah. always go exercise and I always go nature. Um, letter U, chapter U is utilize nature. So nature and exercise. I mean, I was out kayaking i was rollerblading i was hiking because nothing else made sense to me except i need to move and brent and i used to do this together and this and also i'll get all these endorphins yes. um so exercise was first and then close on the heels of that where, where it was therapy um mm -hmm. letter c in the book is counseling so counseling therapy sand play therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, signing up for therapeutic groups, all of that stuff, EMDR therapy uh, with a trauma therapist, mm -hmm. somatic experiencing. Um, and in the book, there are little definitions of all these types of therapies because not everybody knows about them all. Right. And that's why I'm so excited to have you here today. <laughs> because